In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish to nine social platforms within your N8N automation. But first, if you don't know me, my name is Sabrina Romanov. I'm an AI educator and previously sold an AI company for millions of dollars. And by the way, you will be able to import this template directly. It's going to be available for free in the video description. Okay. Here, I just have a scheduled trigger. So you can set this to run hourly, daily, totally up to you. The next step is to read from Google Sheets. So I have a really basic Google Sheet here that has the name of a video you want to upload the video URL from the Google Drive, the caption for the video, and the status. The status is in progress, ready to post or posted. Make sure your video URL is publicly accessible, otherwise your automation won't be able to access your video. And now what we're going to do is set up N8N so that it detects all of your posts that are ready to post, and then it goes ahead and posts them. Okay, so here, credentials, connect your Google Sheets, okay? choose the document name. In my case, I called the Google Sheet published to nine social platforms, sheet one, and then you're going to want to add a filter. The column is status and the value is ready to post. And you're going to want to set it to return only the first matching row so that we process one post at a time. The next step is getting the Google Drive ID for the file. In order to upload a video from Google Drive to the social platforms, we're actually going to need to use a different URL than the one you typically get when you copy paste the share link. So you don't really have to change anything here. And by the way, if you're not using Google Drive to host your videos, then you can probably delete this node altogether. But I wanted to show an example with Google Drive because it is a little bit tricky. Okay, the next step is to set up all of your social accounts for posting. So we're going to use this website that I built called Blotato, an all in one solution to create remix and distribute dozens of pieces of content per week. And it includes an API for social media publishing, go to the document documentation help.blotato.com. Scroll down to the API section and you'll see quick start information, how to get your API key and sample make and N8N automations. Okay. So once you are in the platform, so sign up for it, go to myblotato.com slash settings on the bottom left corner, scroll down. This is where you're going to want to connect all your social accounts. So log in with each account that you want to post to. And then you're also going to want to generate an API key. So if you scroll down a little bit further, this for you will say generate API key. It is a paid feature, by the way. So just keep that in mind when you click that button. And then once you have your API key, we're going to copy it over to any then. This is a blank version, so you won't see my API key or IDs, but basically you want to fill this out. So you're going to first start with the Blotato API key. Go over here. Okay, click copy API key, paste it in here. Okay, next is Instagram ID. Go to your connected accounts, find Instagram, right? click copy account ID and then paste it in here and so on. For some platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn, you can post to a page. For example, for LinkedIn and Facebook, there's a bunch of pages here. If you want to post to a LinkedIn page, you'll need to copy the page ID as well. So you can see the example here for Facebook. And for the social platforms you're not using, you can just leave them blank. Just make sure to disable the social platforms you're not using on the right hand side. Okay, so once you've set up your social accounts, what we're going to do is up upload the video from Google to Blotato. I'm going to click execute previous nodes. When you open upload to Blotato, it's basically an API call to this endpoint. I'm going to go to API reference, upload media. This is where you want to upload your images and videos before posting to the social platforms. The reason is because the social platforms are often very picky about what URL you're uploading content from. Um, so it will reject most URLs. So that's why I built a service here where you could upload your media and it's an approved domain. So you'll have no issues posting your images and videos from a blotato.com domain. Just to walk through it, you don't have to change anything here, but I'm just going to walk through it. So it's a post request to this endpoint, you're going to send in your blotato-api-key. Make sure these variables are green. If they're not green, you probably just need to run the automation first so the variables populate. And then the JSON body, you're going to send the parameter URL, and it's going to be this value. Like I said, for Google Drive, it's a little bit weird. You have to use kind of a different format for the URL, and that's why there's that extra step to extract the Google Drive ID and put it here. Now, once you upload your video to Blotato, you can go ahead and start publishing to the platforms. So here I'm showing examples for Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Threads, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, 
Blue Sky, and Pinterest. And they're all pretty similar. Some platforms have slightly different parameters, but they're all fundamentally pretty similar. And this post request will use this endpoint slash posts. Okay. What's different here for each platform is the JSON body. So I'm going to open one up so you can see. So this will match the requirement from the Blotato API. Go to quick start. You'll see some examples of how to post to platforms. So you can see this is pretty similar to what we have over here. You're just going to want to make sure these variables are green. And again, that usually just requires running the entire automation. You'll note here that the caption I convert to adjacent string because if you have new lines or things like that in your text caption then you'll get an error and then for the media url we're passing in the url returned by that upload to Blotato step. And then for account ID, that's the earlier variable you set up your Instagram ID. And here I opened up the Facebook JSON request, pretty similar to Instagram. The main difference is you are required to pass in a page ID. And again, all of this is documented in the API reference. So if you scroll down here, this will walk through it for each platform. So for example, Facebook, you can see page ID is required, whereas for LinkedIn, page ID is optional. So this means if you want to publish to a LinkedIn company, page, then you need to pass in a page ID. But if you're just publishing to your LinkedIn personal profile, then you don't need to pass in page ID. So LinkedIn is pretty similar. TikTok is the one that has quite a bunch of different parameters. So I'll open this one up. Again, you don't really need to change anything. If you're pushing a lot of AI avatars, sometimes TikTok doesn't like it. So you may want to change this to true. But again, when, as you're testing stuff out, you don't need to change anything here. I'm just showing you that it, this one does look a little bit different from the others because it has so many other parameters. So I've opened up YouTube and the main difference for this one is that your video has both a title and a caption. So for the title, I just put a placeholder test video, but you'll probably want to change that. And then the video description, the caption is what will populate from your data here. Now, the next set of examples are the short form text platforms, Threads, Twitter, and Blue Sky. So here I've just opened up Threads. And the main difference here is that in your caption, I slice it to use only up to 500 characters since that's limit for threads. In a future tutorial, I'll show you how to post like multi-part threads to each of these platforms. So for example, if you go to the quick start, one of the examples will be posting like a long form Twitter thread that has multiple parts. So you can do that, but I'm not covering that in this tutorial here. For threads, the character limit is 500 characters. And then it's similar for Twitter and Blue Sky. The only difference is the limit is 280 characters instead of 500. Okay. And then the last one is Pinterest. So unfortunately, the Blotato integration doesn't support uploading videos to Pinterest just yet. So what we do instead is we use OpenAI to generate an image. And here you'll want to change the prompt. You can have a prompt related to your niche or industry, or if you want it specifically related to your video's caption, you can change this variable here. Make sure you toggle respond with image URL so that we can get the image uploaded to Blotato. Again, social platforms will not like it if you try to upload the image that OpenAI gives you. So we need to upload the image to Blotato first, just like we've previously done. And then the last step is to publish it to Pinterest. So here for Pinterest, a board ID is required. So make sure you set that up in your account variables and then a link. So where should this pin navigate to? I just put a placeholder here, which is my TikTok profile, but you'll probably want to swap this out with your website or landing page. And that's pretty much it. So when you get this automation, remember to fill out all of your social accounts here. It's gonna be already connected and then run everything so it populates the data. What I usually recommend is testing one social platform at a time. So deactivate the ones you don't need, right? Leave activated the one that you want to test. This template will be available in the video description. So you can just plug and play, download it and good to go. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at help at blotato.com. Also, you can click this messenger on the bottom right corner. And I typically reply to support tickets within 24 hours. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be posting many more tutorials on AI automations in NADN. So hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment if you enjoyed this video. 